There, sir. Just as I said. That looks like her, all right. Bounty Hunter, I am Sergeant Warlax of the Imperial Navy. You are commanded to hand over all your weapons and gear immediately. How about I just hand over the ammo instead? Don't get cute, off-world scum. Remember, you're an outsider here. I can shoot you just as easily as bring you in. Sergeant, Tarot Blood here. Have you completed my little errand yet? Blood, you steaming pile of filth! Blast it! I told you not to call on this channel! Everyone who doesn't want to die, leave now. Oh, this is ridiculously tiresome. She's still alive? What is wrong with you, Sergeant? Uh, sir? Who's that guy? Blood. I'll talk to you later. Ignore the chatter, men. Let's take this hunter in. I don't know what's going on here, Sarge, but I know it stinks. Yeah. Either you cut us in on this deal, or we walk. You can't spend credits if you're all dead. That makes a whole lot of sense. Let's get out of here. I'm with you. Cowards! The rest of you, attack! Yes, may I help you with something? Darling, please don't speak to that filthy vagabond. It's Truly clearly not supposed to be like here, and we should... Come, let us get a drink. Shut up, lady. Altaka, you're coming with me. Uh, to whom are you speaking? I've surely never heard of anyone named... Uh, uh... Stow it, darling. Just feel the smug knowledge radiate from her. We knew this might happen eventually. Yeah, only so long you can keep dating your brother before something goes wrong. So you know our little secret. What does an insignificant creature like you want? What would make you dare threaten a noble? I was promised a pile of credits to take him back to the Republic. You mean back to my family, don't you? But I thought, uh... You... you told me I was trapped here. That I would have to forget my family, that this... this charade was the only way. Inside voice, darling. I may have exaggerated a bit, but hasn't it been nice here? The parties, the late nights, the intrigues and such? You witch! Keeping me here as your plaything when I could have been home with my sisters and dear mother. Ugh, you could be such a whiny pain. It's a wonder your nobility. Let us make a new deal, bounty hunter. Make this fast, lady. I've got other things to do. My darling, my lovely El Tucker, wouldn't you rather stay here with me than run home to your pathetic Republic family? What? Of course not. You treat me like a pet and this planet is disgusting. In fact, I'd rather... Yes, yes, you've made your tiresome viewpoint clear. Then here is what I propose. I assume El Tucker's family will pay less for just his body. Kill him, show me the slip, and I'll compensate you the difference. What? You wanted to kill me? I don't kill people, unless I have to. You've made a very big mistake here today. Now take this thing and leave. Your kind does not belong here. You don't scare me, you pathetic witch. Just leave. Seriously think you can kill me? 
I mean, I'm a Sith, and you're just... whatever you are. Oh, we've got a true believer. Then again, it makes sense. Why would you come here if you thought you'd die? Apparently, my father isn't the only one living in a dream world. You can't kill a Sith, you silly. Why don't we test that theory? Wonderful. I love that line. You all right? Lost? I can't lose. I'm Sith. Someone's been filling your head with garbage. Can't die like this. Falling to some common bounty hunter. What Grothen told me was a lie. Lord. I've been living in a dream world. It can't end like this. It can't. It's time you and your father had a chat. What? No, that's worse. <laughs> 